On October 24th, Floyd Central's orchestra program got to be part of an eye-opening event. Violins of Hope. Where the students got to play instruments that once belonged to the prisoners of the Holocaust, as well as listen to a luthier that refined these instruments that told tragedies of the Holocaust in utter detail, which was much supported by the orchestra director, Doug Elmore. Well, for a lot of our high school students, all of the events of World War II happened more than a lifetime ago. They're almost all two generations removed from the late 1930s, early 1940s when these events occurred. To them, that seems like ancient history. When in fact, all of this stuff happened less than 100 years ago in a modernized nation. And the horror that that could happen so close to our lifetimes is something that I want to make sure these students are made aware of so that they will remember it as they grow into adulthood and they can try to assure that it never happens again. As you would think, it was heartbreaking to hear the luthier stories that his ancestors had told him who were once in the Holocaust. We asked Elizabeth Melton about the experience. So a luthier from Holtzman Island came in and he talked to us about some of the other luthiers and musicians that had performed in the concentration camps. He talked to us about specific stories from the Holocaust and about different instruments that are survived it. At the very end, we all got together and we performed some pieces that are also known from the Holocaust, such as Schindler's List, which was directed by Doug Elmore. When I was standing there conducting our kids on that beautiful music written about that time period with our soloist playing on an actual instrument played by a Jewish musician during the Holocaust, I was really overwhelmed with two emotions. The first one was the despair that those people must have felt under those circumstances. And the second one, and probably the more important one, is the hope that they felt that they would get past this, they could overcome it, they would survive this and continue as a people on earth. And I think those emotions of despair and hope can only really be felt at the same time with something like music in such an incredibly expressive art form. 